Hi everyone. On the social project, I'm going to um, contribute um, on student issues. And the student issue I chose to speak of is incivility. As we know that incivility um, is increasing across the country and is affecting um, higher education. Fostering an atmosphere of civility on college campuses presents a challenge for faculty. To be civil is to be polite, respectful, and decent. According to LaProud 200, uh, 200, incivility is defined as speech or action that is disrespectful, rude, and ranges from insulting remarks and verbal abuse to explosive, violent behaviors. Academia um, incivility is any speech or action that disrupts the harmony of the teaching learning environment. Classroom incivility I'm of major concern for many colleges and university faculty. Academia, academic incivility is not a new phenomenon. Braxton and Baird 2000 suggest in, this art, in their article that incivility is on the rise. They also indicated that courtesy and civility among faculty and students are fracturing and dissolving on college campuses across the country. Faculty members complain about the rise on uncivil behavior in their student population. Students also voice similar complaints about the faculty. These incivilities include behaviors such as students coming late to classes, um, student, um, they're missing classes, reading or sleeping in class, they're texting while class is in session, and cheating on assignments and exams. That's um, boys uh, 2000. Is incivility a social issue? I say yes, it is. The issue on incivility in higher education is a social issue. Education plays an important role in the development of civil society. Higher education plays a special role by helping students develop a sense of civic and social responsibilities. In the United States, public education is integral for preparing citizens for employment and socioeconomic mobility. In order for us to create a more civil society, Americans must elevate common good over self-interest and encourage wider civic participation to renew social values. Some of the effects on incivility in higher education um, is in the, in the classroom, the, the behavior of incivility affects both students and faculty alike. It interferes with students' ability to learn and the faculty ability to teach. It also affects the learning environment because in order for teaching and learning to take place, the environment must be safe and be free of interruptions. Uncivil acts affect the performance of teachers and can negatively impact student learning and retention. Baxter and Bayer 2004 suggested that some of the reasons for academic incivility would be brought on by past experience, such as exposure to violence, poor secondary school preparation, changing in students' demographic, and inadequate parenting. Students in these categories, um, they often lost, lose trust with individual and leadership roles. They have no respect for that. They display, they display little or no confidence in social institution and feel less than prepared for the rigor of academia. Faculty um, view is that the number one concern of the um, incivility is hostile behavior of the students in the classroom, including personal and unjustified comments and complaints to higher authority. This issue has been brought to the forefront in the United States by an increasing 
in reports of serious incivility since the 1990s. These behavior include threatening and stalking. Some examples of threatening includes intimidation, physical and verbal attack against instructors. Despite these issues, the United States is seeing more of the lesser serious behaviors which are disruptive, dis disruption in class, negative remarks, dominating class discussions, and talking during classes, disturbing other students. Instructors often complain that students resent faculties that are challenging and demanding. They prefer those who are entertaining, approachable, and flexible. Faculty are concerned that some students feel entitled to receive good grades, although their work does not meet the standard for the expected grade. There is also the expectation that instructors should be available to them at all times and be prepared to make accommodation for them. But, but the students blame the faculty if they do not succeed in academia. These attitudes have led many faculty to develop extensive behavior policies for their classroom by developing syllabi that resemble legal contracts instead of pathway to learning. Several structural factors made the United States context distinct. Many believe that the particularly informal academic atmosphere has evolved in the United States has an influence on student behavior, resulting in who show insufficient respect for their classmates and instructors. Students think it's not a problem if they address faculty by their first and last names. They um, have no respect for their given titles. The student, on the, next hand, on the other hand, thinks that um, faculty is the catalyst for some of their behaviors in the classroom. They believe some contributing factors are negative um, actions in the classroom, such as speaking too fast, boring lectures, refusing to answer questions, springing pop quizzes, and also treating them with open content. Boyce 2000 suggests these negative behaviors by faculty create a hostile environment that actually encourage students to rebel and act in uncivil manner. Some recommendations. Institution of higher education should implement proper policy and procedure to address incidents of classroom incivility. Policy provides instruct instructors, administrators, and even students the opportunity to address acts of classroom incivility, in, incivilities. Colleges and universities have chosen to focus more on cheating and plagiarism rather than student incivility. According to Baxter and Baird 2004, institutions that do have policies addressing student incivility in the classroom shows in general perception of faculty indicates the administration tends to side more often with students as we travel on the spot to become faculty these are a few things that we need to take in consideration and you know be of concern concerns of some of the behaviors of students in the classroom Thank you for listening.